Good day and welcome to the Procon YouTube channel. My name is Anumi and I'm a Procon Technical Consultant. Today I'll be looking at creating a simple portal frame in Sumo. So the first thing that I want to do before starting my model is just to make sure you have all your sections and materials loaded from the database that you will need. You can see part 3 for more information on how to do this. So here in my sections tab and materials tab, you can see that I have loaded a few sections and a few materials already. I've also assigned materials to my sections. So first I want to start modeling some columns. So go to the sections tab and select the columns command. And then I can place my columns and then I select the type of column that I want to use and I can place my column in my model space. So first let's just go to the top view and then in the model space I place my column where I want it. I'm going to place it here in the origin and I can also rotate my column around its own axis. Back in the 3D view you can now see how my column has been placed and you can rotate around it. So next let's add a rafter to this column. So I select my beams command, I select the beam that type that I want to add and I select my beam start point in my model space. Now I need to select my beam orientation and position. So I use tab on my keyboard to tap through the different values and very similar to adding a line in AutoCAD. I can now specify that I want this beam to be 8 meters long and 13 degrees to the X axis. Okay, so after placing my beam in my rafter, I now want to mirror both of these. Okay, so I go to my Modify tab and I click on the Mirror command. Okay, and in the top left of the model space, you will see that it gives you a list of commands in the order of how to complete this command. So the first one is to select the objects to mirror. I've already done this. And then select the mirror plane and then the normal plane and just click on Enter. And you will also get the option to say if you want to delete your objects that you have selected or if you want to just copy them. Okay, I want to copy them, I don't want to delete them, so I just say no. And then I can now copy the rest of this portal frame. Okay, so now I want to copy these beams and columns in the Z direction. So I click on the linear copy, click on the vector start and vector end, and I specify the number of copies that I want Sumo to make. Okay, and as you can see that it has now copied them all at the specified distance apart as well. Okay, so the next thing that I want to do is I'm going to add some eave beams. So once again, I go to the sections tab, click on beams, and then select the beam type that I want, and I just place my two eave beams on the corners over there. Okay, so when I'm done with this, I want to add some purlins as well. Okay, so to do this, I'm going to make use of the nearest snap to add these, just to snap to my rafters. Okay, so um, once again, um, this time I'm just going to copy these eaves. So I select my linear copy, select my eaves, and then specify the distance that I want it copied, and or, as well as the number of copies that I want it to make. Now I have the option to copy the other eave beams as well, or I can just select these purlins that I've now created and I can just mirror them around um, the rafters ends as well. Okay, so I can also change the color of my sections to match the section the section from the database. So I just select the section and go to the color, it must be according to the section start and end. Okay, so that's basically how to quickly create a portal frame in Sumo. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Remember, Procon is an Autodesk Gold Partner and Authorized Developer Training and Certification Center. Please make sure to follow us on social media to get the latest news and updates and visit our website at www.procon.com.